The flood did us a favor. We were asleep at the switch and the floods reminded us that collectively we are leaving our footprint on a healthy fish habitat and that's going to have consequences. The flooding of November 2021 in British Columbia was catastrophic. It caused widespread damage to many parts of the province, in particular the Sumas Prairie region. I've been studying ocean pollution and water pollution for, for three decades now. And when I saw the flood waters rising, I became troubled. Uh, by images of uh, dead animals, uh, fuel spills, uh, and uh, you know debris being washed into the homes for our salmon and fish that uh, ply these waters. A recent report done by the Rain Coast Conservation Foundation entitled A Lake Reemerges showed the impacts of the devastating flooding a year ago and how it impacted our water quality here in BC. Fish habitat is something that is uh, supremely important to to people in uh, this part of the world with salmon plying our rivers, heading upstream. Water was then collected and tested by researchers in conjunction with First Nations communities to determine what sort of contaminants were having a high impact on local fish species. Some of the items the research team found are quite alarming. Cocaine, we ran into diabetes drug, antibiotics, sucralose, pharmaceuticals, personal care products, uh, and other contaminants that are clearly coming from human activities. This is a very rich and important area for food security for British Columbia, uh, but we, we found lots of fertilizers. Uh, this impacted the oxygen levels in these waterways. We found lots of pesticides, also found lots of bacteria. that could be livestock, could be fertilizer, manure, uh, but it could also be coming from wastewater from homes, septic fields, wastewater treatment plants. Their findings paint a disturbing picture of habitat quality for salmon and other fish in this area of the Fraser Valley and just how far reaching these implications are for the entire ecosystem.